Hey guys, Kev here, and I have some unboxings to do for you. So I got a bunch of stuff here. It's just kind of a bunch of random stuff that I had coming in. I wanted to unbox it. Obviously, I have the new prototype of the uh, Pony Stout. I'm fucking loving these. Um, man, they're really good. Uh, QSP killed the edge on this. I'm just impressed. Um, I also got this earlier. I didn't unbox it on camera but this is the compaform allure series or v3 um this is the labyrinth pattern i actually had one of these before it's kind of like a fingerprint pattern and um i just decided that i couldn't not have a good free-floating slider i just need one and i wanted a good one i wanted the best one and i decided to get another one of these um the Modus Works Wrapped V2 is also phenomenal, and I did really love that. This just has the acoustics I like, and personally, it has that sort of clean design touch of not having plates and shit. Um, it's welded together, and it has these cool um, laser-treated titanium plates that, I don't know, I, there's just something about Compaform's work that speaks to me. And it's nothing against the Wrapped or Magnus. I just prefer this. And I only wanted one. So I copped one of these. It was 300 bucks, And it's a lot of money. But it's the only one I have. Slider-wise, that's free-floating. You know, I have a couple of, um, you know, other sliders that are tracked. But I'm trying to sell this one. And then I just have a CP3. So really, hopefully, we'll only have this in the CP3 slider wise and i sold a spinner today so i'm kind of uh toning the collection down and then i obviously just have a bunch of these njt coins i love those but anyway first things first let's talk about this package uh this is coming from papa rhino shout out to papa rhino and all the people involved in this i believe grumpy grunt there you go i think this came from uh grumpy i'm not sure it says, thank you, GG. I think that's meaning grumpy. And this is a uh, tribute piece for Jason Brown. And as you know, or may know, uh, about two months ago, Jason Brown, a, an amazing member of our knife community, passed away. Um, tragically, I believe what happened was he was hit by a car crossing the street and he left behind a, a wife and young child. Um, and that's just, you know, that hits me because I have a wife and a very young child. And if I got hit by a car, it would be hard for them, you know, uh, financially, obviously, and then just mentally. But um, point being is they made these to raise some money. So... Um, there was a big fundraiser that went on throughout October. I believe they raised, I don't know, it was over $10,000, I believe, uh, which is amazing. And if that's something we can try to do every year, we should. Um, but then Grumpy Grunt and I believe Papa Rhino and maybe one other person got together and made these to sell. And all the funds for these went to uh, Jason's wife and daughter as well. And these are little gnome figurines. And you could get them pre-painted or just blank white. And then you could paint it. I'm not artistic at all. But there you go. It says JB Choo Choo 2022. And this is phenomenal work. It's got his little Swiss Army knife. His backpack. And it's got his spray can because he was all about tagging. Um, the little gnome, man, this looks cool. And it's got his headphones. Um, just, yeah, that speaks Jason Brown right there. I wasn't super close with Jason, but I did meet him at Blade Show once or twice. And obviously he was in the live stream chats a lot. And, um, I have heard nothing but just glowing things about him. And I want to support anything I can to help. Um, so I picked one of these up. I think it was 30 bucks. 
and um, the unpainted one might have been 20 or 25. I don't know if they're still available. There was 30 of them or something like that. Um, if they are, please pick one up. You can hit up Papa Rhino on Instagram. I'll uh, put his info down below if I remember. If I don't, and somebody watching this can, please, please put his info in the comments and I'll pin it if I can. Um, but this is cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Like part of me wants to just put it right here, but I don't have like a spot for desk stuff. Another part of me thinks it'd be kind of cool to like tr maybe raffle this and then send the money to his family. But that's kind of like what already happened. Um, you know what would be cool? Just a tidbit. If you guys watch this, Grump or Papa, um, if you added a little nubbin and then, uh, and then I could hang this off my Christmas tree right now, this would be on my Christmas tree. So I think I'm going to try to find a way to do that. I'll talk to my wife and see if she, she's the artsy one. Maybe she'll know a way that we can tie something on here and then hang this off the tree. I don't want to damage it. But there's got to be a way I can get around those headphones or put something on here. But that would be cool if it just had the little notch right here. So you could slide the cord through and then you could hang it off the tree. Just a thought. But anyway, it's going back in here for right now. And uh, check it out. It comes in this uh, vinyl case, which is um, something he was really into. Look at that. Even tightens down. 3D printing is amazing. Um, and just so you know, printing this case and that figurine, painting it, that takes a ton of time. I know how 3D printers work, and that is a lot of work. So thank you guys so much for that. All right. Um, next, let's grab... I have this random package from DLT Trading, which is interesting because I haven't ordered from DLT. Um, man, it's so slicey. Look at this. Tape just ain't got no chance. I'm guessing this is for Josh Worth. So. Just a guess that Josh Worth picked something up and had it sent to me. It's got my name, my address. It's a Spyderco Paramilitary 2 OD Green G10 S90V. Nice, dude. Yes, yeah, for uh, Josh. And he put a note in there. Please check blade centering. Let's see how they did. Hey, luckily you didn't get a mystery box. Bottom. Just kidding. All right. We have a exclusive paramilitary 2. So, yeah, S90B paramilitary 2 exclusive to DLT. They did a great job on this centering. I mean, it's pretty... Eh. Okay, I take it back. It's off to this side. Um, it's not horrible, though. If I were there working and I was checking it, I'd be like, yeah, that's fine. Um, that liner looks like it's popping up a little bit, but I feel like that's kind of a spider coat thing. Um, oh, Josh, it has a sick detent, bro. Oh, man, you got a good one. Oh, never mind. I'm just kidding. Little bit of play, no rock. Swings down really nice, and check this. Man. Oh, <laughs> you're all. Um, very comfortable. The Para 2, man, or the PM2 is so popular, and it's just never been up my alley. I mean, I literally have just never... I had a PM2 Ultra for a while, a lefty button lock one, and that's it. Um, it's got a little bit of something right there, just FYI. Magic eraser should get it. Main reasoning is it's just not good left-handed. Um, you have to do this, and I just tend to drop it when I do that. Now, I haven't had a Para 3 or PM2 or compression lock knife since I quit drinking, so it probably wouldn't be as big of a deal now, but if you're a fidgeter, I just don't think it's a great option. You can get the compression made easy from OCD for EDC, but... I don't know. Why does it ship tip up? 
tip down. Why is it ship tip down? That's so weird. But anyway, uh, great detent. I love the uh, the coating on this. It's got that sort of. Now I know. Uh, now I get it. Now I know why Lynch does the blacksmith finish. It matches this. I thought they did that to match black washed blades, you know, something like this, but they do it to match this and this matches, that would match perfectly the blacksmith clips that they have. So I get it now. Uh, yeah, dude, that's, it's dead center now. I mean, it took a couple flips, but now it's dead centered. So you'll be able to get this all squared away. And you know what? It looks good in this OD green. So, sick pickup. 140 bucks? Hell yeah. I think you done I think you done good, son. I think you done good. Let me put this in there. So that's gonna go with his bag of stuff. I think he just has a one thing right now. Um, then I got this. This is a um, a pouch. So I'm trying to, you know, test the pouch thing out. People always tell me how awesome the pouches are. I saw this. Uh, shout out to Everyday City Carry, Ray. I was watching his live, or I forget when it was, but he went on this website. And uh, he was looking at, like, a, a sling bag or something. And it looked cool. And I just ended up on the website. And I saw this small EDC pouch. There you go. And I got the Velcro one, obviously, so you have this right here. So now I finally have something to put my uh, Jack Wolf patch on. So I have a couple that I want to transfer over to this, but I've been waiting to get this guy on something. So we can take this guy and put it on. And then we have, hang on. I have an, one extra Dead Nuts one, but I'm going to take it from... I have this pouch that I haven't been carrying at all. So let me just see the best way to line these up. Most, A lot of these are glow ones, which is cool. Um, I have a Everyday Minimalist patch right here, too. And then I should have room. I'm going to drop... Okay, this is what we're going to do. Thought I had another one of those, so just bear with me, guys. We're gonna get this shit done. Slide that up a little bit. What's that layout? Should what should that layout look like? Put the black ones next to each other, and then like this. Put this guy that, and then drop that dead nuts like it's hot on there, right? Sorry, I'm very OCD when it comes to like spacing and shit. All right, and then you could put finish him right here, right? Uh, it's kind of like there we go, and then I should have. Um, the other one that says fatality, but I might take this one instead and I'll put the DSKFS. Oh yeah, 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 fuck that, yeah. Look at that shit right there, bro. Look at that, bro. Look at that. Move that one in a little bit, just a touch. There we go. Sick. Sick patch, sick patches, bruh. So anyway, <laughs> am I ever gonna use this? I don't know. You have this little pouch right here. And then in here, oh, so this bitch opens all the way up. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. So I did talk to uh, Everyday Minimalist about this and he was like, yeah, that one's like, that one's like, okay. He basically said this brand, this one's like B-level <laughs> compared to like whatever the popular one is, garage built or whatever. Um, so, you know, I got to live with that. I got to live with that. 
I could take one of these zip. I kind of like these zips though. Um, I have the ones from Alicorn. We'll see. But so what I was thinking I could put in here was like this. Pro oh, probably be smart to put uh, like the bit bar in line in here. Probably a solid piece, right? So where could I put that? Like right over here. Do these. Oh, that pops up. This pops up. Okay. So what's the elastic for? Let me just, I got to figure this out. So just bear with me. If it's too hard to get in, I don't even want to do it, right? There we go. Let's see if it fits. It's already bottoming. All right. I mean, it clips, so it's not going anywhere. And then I was thinking I could put a pen in there, right? So let's say this one. That seems too tall. Um... Hold on, bear with me. This one's always on my bag. Maybe this would be a good one. It's the Tie Scribe Go Mini. Is that going to fit? Mm. Doesn't fit. What about here? Bottom out already? We bottomed out, bro? Shit. Well, that's... That's kind of dumb. It's too small to fit a fucking pen. I gotta... Well... That's in there, right? The only other one I have is... It's a little crazy to put this in there, but let's see. Sorry, I was not ready for this. Saga. Oh, we might have a winner here. Let's see. Nope. You need one small ass pen for this. So maybe that'll be a thing then. I'll have to find a pen that fits in there, right? I don't know. What else can I do, right? Um, then I gotta find a knife. So I was thinking, since we're doing like a small carry, right? Is this a good move? I think this is a good move. So I can take my... Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Baby Barlow pops right in there. And then, boom, just like that. You could also probably slide in a slip joint. So if you had like... You know, if you had a slip joint you wanted to take, I don't think it would fit with the slip, I mean, unless you went like that. But you could just take it out of the slip. And yeah, it's like perfect. Basically is a slip. Look at that. Boom. I mean, now you're rocking a sick slip joint. That's a good move. Kind of tempted to do that. Pop that in there. But I was thinking a flashlight would be good. So I was going to take, you know, this side seems more for stuff with clips. So I was thinking flashlight right there. Boom. Not that I ever really need a flashlight when I have one in my pocket all the time, but it kind of seems prudent, you know? Um, so I definitely want this. Just got to figure out the best spot. And it seems like back there doesn't make sense. Up here does like that and the reason i like this one is because you don't have to have i don't have to also put bits in i can just have this and it has the bits i like in there right um one other good option would probably be like a slim um fuck like a a uh swiss army knife like a little swiss army knife that would be maybe a clutch move for this so then I was thinking I should probably put like a fidget in here or something, right? But looking at the spacing, don't know. It would have to be something like this. Which probably is perfect for this. So um, where is that going to go, motherfuckers? So that's the downside of this thing is... 
the organization is cool. But, like, the thing is, I don't want to have... I don't want to have a ton of... Uh, I don't want to have a ton of shit in here. You know? So, like, maybe... Take this out. Put this in here. Right? And then take the there this is what I'm gonna do. Take this guy. I just gotta learn to get it in here. Yeah, there we go. Put it in like that. Take this guy in here. I don't even need to do that. I could probably just go and clip it in the back here, like that. Or even clip it so it slides right into this bitch. There we go. Now you got that. Boom. So I got the Fiji, got the light, I got the pry, and I got the uh, the knife. And then all I need really is to find a pen that'll fit in there. Like if I could just find a fucking pen that fit right in there. I mean, it almost fits too, but it's because the clip is the mechanism basically. So, I mean, it kind of fits, but it's sort of half-assing that shit right there. boom you're all geared up and i figured maybe this would be a good way for me to carry some of this stuff i can occasionally just take this guy with me um, it has a little loop thing right here i need to get one of those cool hook things but um and then you still have room here so like technically i could pull that fidget out and just put it in the front there instead you know um is that not I could pull this out and I could put it in here. And rock it that way. And that way I don't have to do a bunch to get to it. I can just open it whenever I want to fidgy fidgy. But honestly, what I was thinking was this. So watch. Take this guy, put this guy in here, oops, that guy back in there. I mean, this is kind of going to work, right? I mean, the pen's in there. It's just, it's definitely open down at the bottom right now. You can see that the mechanism's kind of deployed. Uh, but what I was thinking was, I have... A Phillips, a flathead, and I believe a T8 in that um, in that bit bar inline. So then, if I take a T6 and I take a T10, T10, that covers like almost all my knives i mean the only things i'm missing are a 15 and a 20 maybe like what i don't know what i would have i don't have a rosie anymore so that covers like 90 percent of my knives and now i have everything in here um it does feel a little bit bulky that's why i just don't love these pouches because you want to put shit in them and then they feel so thick and it's like i think it's probably this thing let me just see Yeah, it's still kind of, but I need this, right? Like, unless, unless I took something like this instead, just a basic bitch driver. I mean, but then I got to take the Phillips or the flathead out. I could put one in here. Um, and this won't even fit anyway, probably. Maybe if I took the bit out, it would fit. Just fit, but. I prefer the inline, so I'm not gonna take this out. So slide that in. I wonder if I don't, maybe I don't need the clip. I can just do that. Maybe it fits a little bit cleaner that way. What about the pen? Does that fit cleaner if I don't fuck with the clip? Yeah, it just doesn't work well. I just need a smaller pen, that's bottom line. But it's hard to find a Parker refill pen 
that's small. This feels good. This feels like a good size. And it has pretty much everything I would need in it. Um, so, basically what I can do is leave the house. You know, I don't have to worry about, like, because every day I get dressed. And then I'm like, I got to put a fidget in my pocket. My flashlight in my pocket. This is in my pocket. This is in my pocket. Okay, I have everything? Yeah, I got everything. This would just be like, all right. I don't, I can just grab this on the way out the door. I would never have to think like, do I have everything? You know? Uh, and if I do, I just got a backup of everything. Plus it was just cool to get one and try it. I think it was like 30 bucks or 20 bucks with the, the Black Friday discount and it looks cool. And, uh, yeah, I'm digging it. So maybe just ever so slightly bigger, but then I would be bitching about how big it is. Cause like, the other ones I have seem too big. So anyway, that is my Alpaca. It's A-L-P-A-K-A, -A um, A-K-A, -A, um, hub, gear, whatever, patch, uh, pouch. So anyway, sorry, that was a long one. We got more. Um, I'm going to do this separately because it deserves it. So, this last one is from a local guy named Mike, and I bought a another another chickadee. <laughs> Believe it or not, Just make sure this thing's slicey as a mofo. Okay, so this is another chickadee. This is the root beer float version. This is the one I kind of wanted from the beginning. Um, but there it is, root beer float chickadee, blade magna cut, handle, mocha paper, sheath, CF kydex. So interestingly, the HRC on this is 62 to 63. So every one of my chickadees has a different HRC. That's so weird. My uh, Salt Lake one is 64.65. My um, my other one over there is, I'll grab it in a second, is 63.64. And then this one's 62.63. I wonder why. Probably because he outsources it. Um, but this is a brown sort of paper micarta. I don't know why it feels heavier than the other ones. So here's the lineup. <sighs> These are my Oak City Leatherwork slip, clip slips that go with it, lefty clip slips. And um, I do have another one coming for this. And I did think this was a belt satin. So I was wrong, obviously. This is a um, stonewash blade. So that's interesting. And this is machine ground. These two are hand ground, so they're definitely thinner. You can just, you can see the stock, but then just comes down to a thinner edge it feels like probably because they're hand ground but still good i don't know i think i would maybe like this with the satin blade now i wonder how hard it would be to take the is it glued on are the scales glued on like could i could I just remove these yellow ones and put on these brown ones? I don't know. It's a great question. But it's a paper micarta. It kind of feels like G10 anyway. Um, it's got a weird or kind of cool milling. Like my finger is sliding. It kind of reminds me of the TW Price Dawn. Um, feels good in the hand. But it, yeah, it feels like a chunk. Feels like thicker stock. And I think it is. So let's just measure these. Point one two seven. Point one one two. Point 
0.107. Interesting. So the stock can be different on all of them. I guess it just depends on. Yeah, you can kind of see it. You can kind of see it that they're all they're all uh, different. They get thinner from left to right. Let's see if I can show you. Line it up. I don't know if you can see it, but thick, thinner, thinnest. Kind of cool. So, I don't know. I do like the look of this overall with the stone wash, though. Would it look cool with the satin? I don't know. Hard to tell. Yeah, I think it would look cool with the satin. And would this one look cool with the stone wash? It wouldn't look bad. But they look good as is as well. So see if it cuts. Uh, pretty sure it's like brand new. Said he'd never used it. He bought it and then he kind of changed his mind. So yeah, you can hear it pretty thick through the paper. Is there a chip? Doesn't feel like it. Let me just. This one I've used, I think, the most. Yeah. So I was thinking about sending these out to get sharpened. Uh, so that was my idea because they don't seem to come with a phenomenal edge. Not that they're terrible, but, um, uh, doesn't look like this is going to go with any of the sheets I have. Right. I don't want to even push that further because it's doesn't look right anyway. That's this one. And somebody asked me recently, why does it stick out so much? Because um, some people have them and they bury it in there, right? And you just have this nub sticking out, which is cool. It probably looks better, probably conceals better. But it's got to be hard to get out of the sheath, right? Because this is pretty, like, I have to I have to pull pretty hard on it. So it makes sense to just have a good grip, and then it comes out real easy. Plus, then you have a little bit of your handle showing that looks cool. And you still have, you know, just your, cover it with your shirt. I don't know. I've never actually had a problem with that. But uh, and then here's the Kydex sheath, which I actually really like his Kydex sheaths. Um, I do carry these on the belt pretty often, so I can show you what I do with these. <sighs> Take that off. I find that HRC thing kind of interesting. Um, grab the... Bitbar inline. Actually, I can probably use this. So, I just got to get it flipped over. So, the way I do it is... This goes here, so this goes around. This guy goes, so this goes here, and then the button comes down, right? But this needs to go up one. So it's the shortest setting. You'd think I'd know by now, but I just don't. So then I also cut this. Uh, let me see if the stout can handle it. Let's see. Pony stout, I should say. Let's find out, folks. So we want to cut it right 
here. We don't want to cut the hole, obviously. So it's going to be interesting. Right about there. I don't want to fuck up the... I just want to get a spot so I know kind of where I'm cutting. Look at that. I, mean, I don't know how good that is or whatever, but hang on. I'm sure a bunch of you guys are just rolling your eyes. Uh. <laughs> Should be good. Now, as long as I didn't mess up and put it in the wrong place, should be good. So, now this goes here. This guy goes to be clicked on, right? So, this has to go through here. I think I left enough room. It's close. It's kind of... Might have been kind of close there, Kev, but it should be good. You can buy this stuff, I think, on Amazon real cheap, so not the end of the world if I fucked it up, but I definitely cut that way shorter than I cut the other ones. The other ones I left the button on when I cut it, so there's a big difference. So that was dumb, I'll admit it, but hopefully it doesn't bite me in the ass here. Oh, did I fuck this up? I might have fucked this up. Ah, uh, shit. I probably should have looked at one before I did it, but thought I had a good eye on that. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think I got it. Okay. Here's the other two, by the way. The ones that came with those two. Uh, somebody was asking me, where do you get one of these chickadees? Um, not for a ridiculous price, because I guess people are, I don't know, people are scalping them or what. But um, I got the Salt Lake one, which is that blue one. I got that at uh, Blade West, right from his table. And then I really liked it, so I wanted another one, obviously. And my buddy Ev, Knife Ninja EDC, had this one. So he sold it to me, kind of made him. At least that's what he'll tell you. Um, and then this one, my buddy Mike, it's a local buddy, he had, and uh, he was just looking to recoup some funds. So I got this one. I paid table for all of them, which is cool. And there we go. Let me just test it. And pop that bitch in there. Yep. Boom shakalaka. All right, I'm just going to wear that, and we are good. So, another chickadee in the bizooks, and this thing came in handy right away in the pouch. Just slide her back in there. Kind of had it sideways like that. Boom. Yeah, this pen situation is going to have to, you know. I have one on my keys, too, but it would be cool to have a decent one in there, you know. But anyway, so we got to utilize everything there. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, everything's out of the box. Talked about everything. And uh, yeah, 
Thank you guys for checking out a bunch of random stuff that I unboxed. And shout out to Jason Brown's family. Uh, I hope these donations or uh, sales from this um, help you guys out. So be up, as they say. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.